A very good afternoon to the honorable panels and fellow audience. My name is Lydia and I'm from University of Malaysia Pahang. Today I'm going to talk about 3D printing bio-based polymer composite. Additive manufacturing is a technique that applies consecutive content layers to form a 3D model that requires the use of a computer based 3D model as well as a 3D printer and a process to develop a physical model which is based on the original model concept. Additive manufacturing has been frequently utilized as an effective way of prototyping and generating parts with a high level of fracture surface and it offers the facility to create goods at a higher pace and with dimensional precision than most modeling approaches. 3D printing controls the principle of additive manufacturing and it is an extremely versatile fabrication system which can be enforced on various materials such as ceramics, metals, polymers and other materials. During the manufacturing phase of a product, the usage of 3D printing has reduced the extra cost encountered. Besides, the resolution, precision, usability and repeatability of 3D printed products have increased. Next, the rising number of 3D printers and quick access to application has resulted in a decrease in the cost of the production process and is driving major modernization in a wide variety of fields involving medical equipment and biotechnology. Therefore, it is possible to ensure the consistency of the FTM 3D printed components that are specially designed by altering printing variables such as the thickness of a layer, orientation of printing and air gap. While there are many approaches that are linked to 3D printing, a technique that is widely used is fused deposition modeling. Fused deposition modeling is commonly utilized in additive manufacturing processes that produces practical prototypes of many thermoplastics because of its ability to safely build high quality complex goods. This additive manufacturing method allows us to obtain products with better durability, dimensional precision and surface roughness. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene and polylactic acid are frequently used polymer material for additive processing filament. The next section that I'm going to explain is biopolymers. Biopolymers are classified into two major groups which consist of polymers that are produced biologically and synthetically. Therefore, biologically produced polymers are the examples of natural polymers derived from animals, microorganisms and plants, whereas oil, sugars and amino acids are chemically synthesized polymers that are synthetically processed and are extracted from biological material. Polyesters, polylactic and polycarbonate are synthetic biodegradable polymers while polyethylene and polypropylene are some examples of synthetic non-biodegradable. Next, I would like to talk about on the materials which is polylactic acid, cellulose, coupling agent and plasticizers. Firstly, I will discuss about polylactic acid. Polylactic acid has made tremendous strides due to its biodegradability within the 3D printing sector. Besides, PLA is more renewable and presently in use which has been authorized for numerous biomedical applications. Therefore, 3D printed PLA parts hardly have any thermal wrapping or curling problems. Since the PLA is a semi-crystalline structure, the mechanical properties and crystalline structure of PLA are significantly affected by thermal background. Thus, thermal annealing therapy is widely used method aimed at removing the impact of thermal background and rebuilding the crystallinity, crystallite size and mechanical properties of PLA. Thermal annealing increases the crystallinity of semi-crystalline polymers by adding thermal heat in between the transition temperature of the polymer and melting temperature. Now, I will talk about the type of fillers which is cellulose. Natural resource based green polymers are environmental friendly and its use will minimize the vast amount of non-biodegradable waste. Owing to its unique properties and biocompatibility, cellulose is intensively studied as in form of aerogels, hydrogels, fillers or flims for biomedical application. Cellulose has an almost ideal inerative form and robust mechanical properties as an organic raw resource and it is used in composite materials as a fiber improver. Based on the pie chart, many researchers have used nanocellulose as fillers to be reinforced in PLA compared to microcellulose and other cellulose. Therefore, nanocellulose consists of many types such as nanocrystalline cellulose, cellulose nanofibers, cellulose nanocrystals, carbonized cellulose nanofibers, man-made cellulose and cellulose nanoviscous. As for microcellulose, 
It consists of microfibrillated cellulose and microcrystalline cellulose. Besides, other cellulose is categorized as natural cellulose, natural fiber, cellulose fiber, man-made cellulose and abaca fibers. It is well recognized that the use of nanometer sized fillers helps to improve the surface contact of a filler or matrix and change the properties at relatively low loading speeds. Based on the bar chart, it can be seen that the commonly used coupling agent is silane KH550 and followed by polyethylene glycol which is used as a plasticizer. Silane coupling agent and polyethylene glycol increases the sustainability and printability of 3D based composite filaments. It is more effective to use suitable plasticizer because it helps the material to survive at low temperatures without triggering any thermal deterioration. It is therefore anticipated that the use of PLA polyethylene glycol blends could enhance the manufacturing process of 3D structures for tissue engineering. Titanate coupling agent improves the stability of PLA matrix and microcrystalline cellulose and increases the crystallinity and storage modulus. Next, I would like to explain on the mechanical properties. The evaluation of mechanical properties aids in the analysis of development of more effective and less expensive components and goods as they last longer. Thus, by determining the mechanical properties, it helps to develop and design items that needed. Various mechanical testing experiments were undertaken to research the polymer composite mechanical properties. Based on the research conducted by me, the tensile strength test is increasing from year to year, being the most common test that is preferred by researchers shown in the bar chart. Therefore, with the addition of fibers and fillers, the mechanical properties of PLA bio-based composites might be strengthened. Cellulose is a biopolymer of natural origin and has a highly biocompatible character. This characteristic is one of the potential prospects relevant to the applications of cellulose derivatives in the biomedical field such as pharmaceutical, dental and medical. Recently, with many developments in the biomedical field, nanocellulose has been identified as an essential biomaterial. Moreover, nanocellulose mats were known to be very skilled in facilitating pain relief and accelerating granulation for successful wound healing. The application of cellulose in the biomedical field can be categorized into three, which are medical, dental and pharmaceutical. The application in medical field includes the growth of blood vessels, nerves, skin substitutes for burns and wounds, tissue engineering scaffolds, and bone reconstruction. The application of cellulose in the dental field are dental tissue reconstruction and regeneration of gums, whereas in the pharmaceutical fields are drug delivery. As a conclusion, the types of commonly used biopolymers are consisting in the group of biodegradable. Extensive usage of cellulose in various forms and sizes have been used as fillers. Therefore, in order to improve the printability and sustainability of composite filament based on 3D printing, silane coupling agent and polyethylene glycol are used as plasticizer. In general, the most widely used mechanical properties to measure the PLA cellulose specimens are tensile strength. Thus, due to its highly biocompatible characteristics, Different forms of cellulose are being used in the biomedical industry while PLA are being incorporated in automotive, aerospace and packaging industry. Finally, some studies suggested that in order to obtain biomaterials, more work needs to be done using 3D printing when cellulose is involved. Thank you.